We're going to talk about all this international stuff in just a few. Uh, but before we do, I do want to give people Twitter or X shout outs. And if you'd like a live shout out right here on the broadcast, right here and now, all you got to do is go to my X account. All right, put the PC shot on. There it is right there The Ghost Report. All one word, no underscores. And if you can retweet this tweet right here, all right, True Capitalist Radio, episode 681, Does Anyone Care? If you retweet that tweet, I will give you a shout-out live right here on the broadcast here and now. And uh, cheers to Cat Cans. I don't know what he meant by that, but uh, cheers to Cat Cans for the $10 Rumble rant. I hope you're doing pretty well on this bathhouse Thursday. And uh, Urinator, of course, with his Rumble rant. I'm about to take a dump at work. Whenever I listen to you, I hold it in. All right, I'm not saying that. You're, dude, you're getting more depraved. It's the HIV that's infecting your brain. It is deteriorating it, and you're a sick piece of trash, all right? So anyway, let's go ahead and see if anybody uh, wants a shout-out live right here on the broadcast. Just retweet this tweet or repost it or whatever it's referred to as. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. All right, we got cat cans. We just uh, hooked it up with a $10 rumble rant with cat cans. Cheers to you. Uh, JSAV, the guy who's always calling me a psyop. Cornbread Man, the guy that's always posting cat pics. Feminist Social, which is on DLive, always talking trash. Uh, Capybara Supporter, which uh, vaguely uh, tweets at me and, and tweets at me like uh, I'm some condescending prick. Uh, we got Hair of the Dog, who's a stupid trolly little bastard that I hope gets cancer of the crotch. Uh, we got Lambo Subordinate, who's been pretty cool, occasionally trolly, but cheers to you, Lambo Subordinate. I see you in the D-Live. This fucking idiot Manny Gas, which is a fucking urinator. He's a fucking homosexual, sexual harasser piece of crap. Uh, Haywood, what is this, Tongue Punch Muck... I'm not going to say that. You're a sick bastard. And here's another trolly little son of a bitch fucking thinks he's a self-important asshole. Uh, President J... Uh, we got Arctic Shipping Oil. What's up to Arctic Capitalist? He's 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 basically playing those plays on the Red Sea uh, situation. Uh, Yurison Mutant Militant. Uh, I was on Pumpkin Hill, King of Bugs. That's another trolley piece of trash. Uh, we got Snow Chi Men, real funny. Foxo, who wants to, he's like trying to superimpose himself right, as. Right. Oh Jesus, I forgot to do. Uh, Show us your inflatable tent if it. Ah uh, Jesus. Awesome. First of all, it, stop making fun of my inflatable tent. Secondly, obviously, I had a little bit of technical difficulty right there. Don't say boomer versus technology, all right? I got a lot of things going at once. Let me replay that. And by the way, anybody that I missed on donation alerts on the ghost show, if you had a video, I know I got to the Terminator and everybody else's, but we're going to hook it up. We'll hook it up later. All right. We'll hook it up. I th I'm going to try to do a show tomorrow for the ghost show. But if I scream and these idiots make me, you know, screw up my voice, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, it's Narocore who said, show us your inflatable tent if it isn't a bouncy castle. Well, it's not. All right. It is an inflatable all season tent. And uh, I saw some rooskies, like some rooski couple. Uh, you know, kick back in one of those things like it wasn't a big deal. You know what I mean? And uh, trolling the interwebs with a $10 rumble rant, he said, Hey, ghost, I got the flu. I'm so tired and achy. Oh, that sucks, dude. You know what I mean? Uh, massive vitamin C, vitamin D. Uh, maybe throw some vitamin B vitamins in there. But, man, I mean, you're going to have to go through it if you legitimately have the flu. The flu is horrible. It is unbelievably horrible. Anyway, uh, get better trolling the interwebs and uh, enjoy, if you can, this uh, broadcast here. Uh, cheers to you. And once again, El Foxo trying to superimpose himself as my goddamn editor. Uh, I'm not going to, Annie, yeah, I know what you're trying to make me say there. SCM in the house. Vox Artificials, who's always throwing anime versions of me for some reason all over fucking X. Uh, Slime F41, a Ghost's Nephew's Boyfriend's History Month. Fuck you, assholes. I, you know, every time I try to get candid with my audience, they use whatever I divulge as personal, uh, you know, semi-personal stories and information. They use it to the trolling advantage, to the trolling degree, and I regret ever doing that. And, you know, that's why they want me to get a little inebriated. That's why they want me to drink, because this is when I decide that, hey, guys, you know, you guys are okay. Let me tell you about the story. And then I tell them, and then before you know what, they use it for fucking trolling material until the end of time. Uh, anyway, we got Dr. Peen Respect, uh, GK in the house. Uh, take 10 steps towards Ghosty's butt crack. How about no? 
We got the Silverado dude, Jag the Luxray, which was a very uh, focal point of the last uh, Ghost Show broadcast. Not going to bring it up here. Uh, Hambolius, a five-finger prostate punch. Maria, Maria! We've got Milkshake Deep Steak. Real funny. Narocore, advisor for TCR, TGS. I have no advisors, all right? Just me and the engineer. And, and say hi, engineer. <laughs> so it's just me and him, all right? We, we staying independent, baby. We like Gucci Mane the early years, all right? That's how we are right now. We got Monkey Noises TV, horrible name. Ragu the Dagu Clown, or Dago Clown, excuse me. Uh, we got Ghostina Albin. We got uh, Ghost is a wannabe alpha male. What are you talking? I am an alpha male. All right, you can hear it in my voice, for Christ's sake. You could hear it exuding in the speech patterns, in the, in the pantameter in which I deliver my speech, for Christ's sake, that I'm out here ordering people around. The hell are you talking about? Anyway, we got Vorhood Merchant in the house. Uh, I was on The Sopranos. Hey, Tony Wood doors on the... Ch all right, yeah, shut up, all right? Sopranos is a good fucking show. The, uh... What is that, that fucking movie that they came out? David Chase, what is that? The fucking Saints of Newark or some shit? The most horrible prequel to any fucking goddamn series or franchise ever. All right, you're an idiot. For you, you literally almost took a fucking took a dirty diarrhea shit on the Sopranos with that prequel, The Saints of Newark. It sucked. Anyway, we've got uh, Chung King Crocodile. Uh, Jag <laughs> is a dirty gay butts. All right, we're not going to say that. Ghost wife's more than admires Leroy Sinclair. I don't know who the fuck that is. Uh, Captain Cheesecake. Uh, ghost politics facts, not facts, by the way. Uh, Baca Survivor, uh, he's always talking. You're talking about shit talker. Primo shit talker, this fucking guy right here. Uh, we got Ouija Slayer. You want to talk about some fucking projecting wannabe fucking transvestite fucking weird-ass cosplay fruit bowl? This this guy right fucking here, all right? Uh, Pertrick Stir in the house. LB Capitalist, a member of the Thunderdome. Miss Ghost equals discount white diamond and silk. Fuck off. <laughs> All right. Buy that for a hey, look, we don't condone this name. This hey, guys, Jag the f has ran out of neat books and can't no, afford his skip daily Skip it. Supply. It's a fucking doc. Skip it. God damn it. All right, everybody just cut your shit. I'm telling y'all right now. I mean, can we be serious here? I mean, this is a serious show, True Capitalist Radio, at least it once upon a time used to be. Uh, we got uh, Ghost Cummies Supplier. That's disgusting. Rem Lazar, Best Mexican. I didn't even know you were a fucking Mexican. Why don't you go make me a rubber tortilla or some shit? We got Fifth Fist, uh, Paul Peno oh, Danino. I'd buy that for uh, a dollar. Yeah, here's Sasori. Yo, Love Muffet. Just what? asking when is the betrayal act to be expected? What? I mean, you see the cycle with Mask Pony, a show, to Tonic Plague and VCC. Yak the lie is next. Also, Listen. Typ about the justice for Alexander the Resurrection Force coming no, in. Nah, Al Alexander nah, yes. the Resurrection is a fucking weirdo, first of all. And secondly, there's no cycle here. All right? Mass Pony, I don't know what happened with Mass Pony. That was a fucking weird situation. Asho, another weird situation. The Teutonic Plague is actually in the Thunderdome. He, I mean, he hasn't come in lately because the Eagles have uh, been eliminated from the playoffs, and he's probably out there coping somewhere with, a, with listening to Taylor Swift. West Coast Capitalist got bought out of the community by Yakass, the Park Street legend, who dropped 900 bucks to have him removed. And Jag the Luxray, uh, he came back to the Thunderdome last night. All right, he was in, in there commiserating with the Thunderdome last night. So I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Anyway, uh, we got uh, Jean Luc Nick. Uh, you are uh, you fucking piece of shit. That for a dollar. You piece of shit. Hold on, this is an audio hey, file. That vehicle looks pretty darn tough. Try using it to run down the. Use the circle button. No, to take over the the skip this it shit. Looks like this cage has been locked. Skip the this. Just yeah, skip that's some Black History I Month. Are you on your cotton picking mind? What the fuck? This ghost show was great. Jag got what he deserved. Top struggle session material. Also, how many calories are there in eating pussy? It depends on which way she wipes. Oh, God. All right, you guys are getting disgusting. First of all, to all my urban demographic who listen to the broadcast, I want to say I'm sorry for this idiot real Sonic game audio, which is obviously some, some fucking AI racist garbage. 
We, we don't condone that. We are not racist here on the True Capitalist Radio Show. We are a melting pot of friendship. We have always projected the message of melting pot of friendship going back to 2008, 2009 when this broadcast began. So I'm just saying, don't don't believe these dumbasses that are donating audio files. We don't uh, we don't condone that crap. All right. Anyway, we got Paco Taco. We got Flames were golfing in the house. And by the way, Happy Black History Month to all the folks that are uh, of the urban demographic. All right. Uh, we got uh, Mr. B N King in the house and Woka Cola. Uh, let's see what else we have going on here. We've got. Uh, I off micro penis misses whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. We don't condone this. But dude, how listen? How the hell are you people getting past the goddamn censorship, dude? What, what fuck? It, look that that horrific racial slur that you just heard repeated by the text to speech what word does that mean in russian because that's a they have concocted some russian you know phonics or some shit phonetics and they put it together to make it sound like that what word does that mean in russian anyway we've got deaf to deva oh monkey's uncle come on dude i'd buy that for a come on we got vox artificials Ghost skips shows to watch anime no Ghost i decides don't. to forego his performance in favor of indulging in anime dot opting out of his scheduled show bullshit Ghost chooses to tune into anime instead dot ghost ditches his appearance to catch up on some anime viewing bullshit all right bullshit my voice was fucking... Ha I mean, it's still not up to par. I just... Uh, I have to do a True Capitalist radio show. So that's what I'm doing here. But it is just completely wrecked from that train wreck of a show that was the ghost show that was on this past Monday night. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's go with Prolapse Pete. He's in the house. Crazy YouTube Ninja. We got Metal Warrior. And hold on. Wait a minute. Here's Mega Max in the Rumble Rant. Bro, I just joined. You're already saying some racist, sh racist shit on black history. First of all, Mega Max 578 in Rumble, he's one of my blacks, first and foremost. And I think that he may be a little oversensitive. He may have watched Malcolm X, the movie, a little too much. And now any little thing that I say, this guy tries to come at me. Uh, you know, like some uh, uh, Huey Newton resurrection uh, trying to reclaim his blackness, uh, you know, from Whitey. I, I don't understand that. Uh, I don't understand. Urinator with a rumble rant. You don't need to use... <laughs> Urinator, you're going to have to stop uh, rumble ranting these disgusting gay fantasies of yours. I'm not reading that disgusting crap on this damn show, all right? I mean, this is sexual harassment. <laughs> Buy that hey, what is it, Narcor? What is it? And by the way, what what is this? Russian rubles. Hey, ghost, uh, is Raytheon? It's actually spelled with an R, by the way. Uh, stock a good play uh, sometime in the future. I think Raytheon right now is at all time highs or coming down from it. Uh, but obviously, we are in a, a very precarious situation internationally. Uh, so a lot of folks are kind of long on that stock. It's up to you as the individual investor on whether you speculate that it's going to continue climbing off of the current highs or is it going to slide? And I mean, that's, I mean, hey, that's the name of the game. You know, buy low, sell high. That's the stock market, baby. I mean, if you have the speculation that it's going to Unfold like World War Three is around the corner, which you know it's not necessarily out of the question, but I wouldn't say it's imminent. Um, I, I mean it's up to you. I, I think it's a little high. I wouldn't. I can't confirm or deny that I've owned or have owned. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh Jesus Christ! Come on, man! Don't say any racist shit hey, on this audio that file. Looks pretty darn tough. Try using it to run down those black. What the? What the hell? What the fuck is that noise? Is that a digger do? G'day mate. Uh, crikey. You won't believe it, but I reckon them cheeky ants are fixing to turn your pump up tent into a dingo's disco. Fair dinkum. They're planning a bush bash with your gear. Chuck a UE and skedaddle. Or those little buggers will have your tent up in the air faster than a kangaroo on a trampoline. It's a proper Aussie ant party mate. 
get a wriggle on before it's all gobbled up like a snag at a Barbie. Struth. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck was that? that Jesus! God damn it! Can we be serious for Christ's sake? Good God, man! All right, you know what? That's enough. All right, you don't need any shout. You people don't need any shout outs. All right, look at this. Vote for Michelle Obama, Metal Warrior, Ham Tara, by the way, Dr. Whiskers McMoney Bags, and there's fucked up fucking Viking Kyle 444. All right, there's Enros Talk, What, Cosmo, what is this? Execute. I'm not saying that shit. Frank Castle, the bug chaser, Al Sneed. And I think that's about it. All right, there's kerosene, there's animus, 805 addict, uh, doom for goon. No, I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Eyes. Oh, I'd buy oh that Jesus for a Christ! Dollar. Is that a dog? Well, if you stuff enough rubles and shekels in your take it off. Ghost welcomes every weirdo. No, weirdo. Don't get it out of here! You fucking dumb I'd fucking piece of dogs and crap. Jesus Christ, man! End of show and end life, please. Thank you. Look at this. End show and end life, please, is this fucking text. I mean, my fucking goddamn fucked up fans, by the way. All right, anyway, let's get serious, all right? I mean, we've already done all this bullshit on, on X or Twitter or whatever the hell it's fucking called. Let's go ahead and get into some markets, all right? We've already wasted about 20 minutes on this garbage. All right, let's go ahead and get into some markets, folks. Now, what did I tell each and every one of you? that we're over-anticipating the Federal Reserve, that they cannot continue to... <laughs> I'd buy oh, that Jesus Christ. What? Who would win in a fight? Mr. B nor Pee Wee Herman? Chad decides. Who? What? This isn't your personal poll, dude. Who gives a shit who wins under that stupid what-if situation? That's an autistic question anyway. Anyway, as I was stating, okay, I don't think that the Fed can keep rates at this level for too much longer. And as we saw that it went back up. I'd buy that for a time. Oh no, we got Jotario here. Hey ghost, let's have a good show and looking forward to warmer weather. I got a question for you. If Michael Obama wins, will Barack be the first lady? Shout out to Daddy Haywood and Jag. Haywood and Jag? Uh, that's a very good question. I think that he probably would be first bottom because I personally believe, in my opinion, all right, there's a lot of jingling evidence in the midsection of one Michelle Obama in many different clips that suggest that there's a, there's a little bit of a meat bag in that package right there. I, I personally believe that, yes, uh, Barack Obama was the power bottom. And uh, you can just tell by the way he walks, the way he talks, in my opinion. I mean, the Larry Sinclair allegations, there was always speculation that uh, in 2008, there was speculation that he may or may not have been HIV positive. And if you take a look at how he's deteriorated as a human being, uh, he came in as, what is it, one of the youngest presidents ever to hold the presidency. And if you look at him now, he looks horrible. What is it? First of all, Mega Max 578 and Rumble. He's one of my blacks, first and foremost. And I think that he may be a little oversensitive. It's me as Hitler! Now to Max the Groovy, a little too much. And now any little thing that I say, this guy tries to come at me, uh, you know, like some uh, uh, human Newton resurrection, uh, trying to reclaim his blackness, uh, you know, from mighty. I, I don't understand that. I don't understand. You're an eater, Mr. Rumble Rat. You don't need to use... Uh, you know, you're going to have to stop uh, rumble ranting these disgusting day fantasies of yours. I'm not reading that disgusting crap on this damn show, all right? I mean, can you stop the... Ah! Turn that shit! Damn it! Ah! Ah! God damn it, man! Stop! AIing me as fucking Hitler, all right? First and foremost. Buy that for a and what? What is this? Excuse me, ghost. Belligerent Brian. Aside, it's my 30th birthday in a couple of weeks, and uh, I was yeah? wondering if you could see your way to doing another Saturday Night Troll show around then. Oh, uh, yeah? It also marks the year that I've been listening. Oh, Cheers, Jesus. lads. Jesus. <laughs> all right, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll think about it, belligerent Brian. Uh, oh, how you doing, ghost? Oh, no! It's the Aussie shit poster again. You miss me? Sure you did, you silly little <laughs> Anyway, got something real fucking important for you. Hold on to your socks, 
we're listening to gay porn audio to the main theme of raising Arizona. No! No! No, this is urinator gay shit! No! No! Take that shit off! It's a dox, you fucking goddamn Trump! Ah, God damn it! Piece of goddamn shit! You piece of goddamn shit! Oh my God. Uh, dude, uh, can we be serious for a fucking few minutes? How about that? Just be serious. Can we be serious? Oh, my God. Hold on. I got to go to buy me a coffee. I do have to acknowledge a few donations that came in, all right? Now, Narcor, Narocor, hey, go. sorry my last dono upset you. Uh, a little wasn't intended in a bad way. Uh, I just wanted to have some fun there. No intent to getting on your bad side. Uh, but y'all remember that one stock I posted? 500% on the day. 500% on the day. And what is this? Aussie shit poster? What is this? My next dono will be in exactly 15 minutes and 10 seconds. Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, cheers. Have a good show. Also, I don't dono live because I'm either working or asleep and shit. Uh, and, uh, or asleep and shit. And, oh, uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Dollar. What? Perks of the IC depends on the tier you pay. For base 300, you just talk to Ghost when he feels like it. 400 oh, plus Jesus. gets you feet pics of all right, ghost. Just shut up, all right? Don't donate you if you're going to donate shit like this. With ghost. Fuck. Dude, fuck. Are we, we don't condone that. Listen, I don't know how they're getting past the uh, the censor of, of that shit. This is Black History Month, and you people are fucked up. You know that? But anyway, as I was stating, Eddie Murphy attempted to try to gear black folks in another direction outside the caricature that was built by Hollywood and the entertainment industry, and they conveniently found this guy with a hooker that just so happened to have a prick, you know, a, a dolls with balls, a, a slag with a meat bag, and then after they caught him with a transgender, this idiot never did anything relevant to black folks again. As a matter of fact, he took on roles that were completely obnoxious and ridiculous and did whatever Hollywood told him to do. Another guy who tried to do this was Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby attempted on his own accord, without any money. He was going from uh, black city to black city, cities like Baltimore, Atlanta, these types of cities, and holding open sessions in the black community. Anybody could come in for free to listen to what Bill Cosby had to say. And what Bill Cosby preached was, you need to pull up your pants, boy. You need to be a father to your children, boy. I mean, trying to give a little tough love, all right, out there, out of his own accord. And what happened to Bill Cosby? Well, they sent that poor brother to prison for some bullshit that supposedly happened 30-plus years ago. So I'll tell you right now, um, it almost looks... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Here's an audio file, folks. Jesus Christ. Mm. I do hate stinky and disgusting. Dude, Their we, entire look, race no, is no, no, nothing no. but and Can you skip this disgusting racism? All their women be. God damn it, shut up! Only one solution. Shut, no, shut the fuck up! Listen, I'm not allowing racism to be played on this broadcast, especially during fucking Black History Month. Are you out of your cotton-picking mind? Give me a fucking break. Listen, can we get back to the markets? I wanted to talk about the markets, and then I get this swayed because a dumbass stream troll Mike uh, donated me some stupid fucking clip of that dumb, stupid fucking t uh, that's now leader of the white race, Nick Fuentes, for Christ's sake, all right? Anyway, as I was stating, the Fed did not give any hint that it was going to lower rates yesterday. And as a result, the market contracted, not just the stock market, but also...
I mean, those are six-figure jobs. And what what happens when all these folks that are six-figure earners, what happens? Well, they probably have a savings, and maybe that savings will get them over maybe three months, maybe four. And then after that, what happens? Then after that, what happens? Hold on, we got an audio file for you. No! 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 And take that off! That's a dog! Take that shit off! It's a dog! You fucking stuck that truck! I'm fucking tired of this oh fucking shit, Oh, my God. Shit, Hold man. on. I got to go to buy me a coffee. I do have to acknowledge a few donations that came in, I'm all right? I'm fucking tired of this fucking now, shit. Now, Norcore, Norcore. I'm so tired of this fucking shit, man. Can we be serious? Oh, God damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Ah, damn it. Can we be serious for a fucking minute, man? All right? I'm sorry, folks. I'm trying to be serious, you know? I've got tens of thousands of people that listen to me for the financial insight! For the political... Oh, Jesus, what? The fat Peter Vosh, a.k.a. Ian Kokinski, lives... But no, God damn it, man! Stop doxing, you fucking text-to-speech troll assholes! Cut to shit! I'm telling you, man, you know, I think I'm going to do True Capitalist Radio exclusively on Rumble and just take Rumble rants only. And and, and, and I'm not joking around. This is fucking getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. I got I to gotta filter out these pieces of trash. I'm not joking around. And Anime Extremist, uh, a.k.a. Winston Fujimori, just did a Rumble rant and said, are people allowed to post the F-slur word on Rumble, or is that not allowed? Also, uh, to honor Black History Month and slavery, you could pay your mods for a month. All right, you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm kicking Winston Fujimori out of everything, dude. Fucking tired of this fucking guy, man. All right? I mean... There are women that are side pieces that are less pains in the asses than fucking you, Winston. I'm not fucking joking around. There are women that are completely okay with being the bitch that is taken to the fucking Super 8 motel and given the pipe for an hour, and then they fucking have some post-coital bliss with some maybe maybe some smoke and, and, and some Mr. Pib, and then dump her off on the next block and go on with your life. You're fucking more of a pain in the ass than a bitch like that. <sighs> Jesus Christ. You know, I need some smoke, folks. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I, I'm not even joking around. I need some smoke. This, I'm trying to be serious, folks. I'm going to get back to the, the markets and everything, but, uh, I mean, this is the fucking internets, man. I'm not even fucking joking around. This is the fucking internets that we got to deal with here, all right? By the way, looking for more mods, by the way, all right? As a matter of fact, I'm going to make trolling the interwebs a mod over there at Rumble, all right? So don't worry, Winston. You'll be relieved of duty, all right? You'll be relieved of duty so you can go take a duty, all right? Because that's probably the only thing that you're fucking good at, if you want my opinion, all right? Fucking asshole. All right. Anyway, sorry, folks. I don't mean to get into all this crap. I'm, I'm, I'm in a little bit of a bad mood because I'm trying to do a serious show here. And look at this. Look at it. Look at these idiots. Look at them. Fuck my boss. Who gives a shit about your fucking boss, all right? Who gives a shit about your boss? I mean, we're not your personal army, you fucking piece of shit, all right? And your boss was probably right for firing your stupid loser ass, all right? How do you like that shit? Fucking asshole. That's why he's the boss. Fucking trying to dox his boss for crying. Fuck your boss, all right? Why don't you go out and do your own fucking dirty work, you fucking piece of shit? <sighs> That's what you get for being a good boss nowadays. And by the way... I was talking a little bit about these layoffs, right? These fucking layoffs here, tech layoffs. You know what these damn tech people that are doing now? Such bitch shit. They're now recording their layoffs and posting it on fucking TikTok and Twitter and shit. 
expecting people to give a rat's ass or some shit. I'm not even fucking joking around. Like, we're supposed to care about a bunch of pretentious fucking nose in the air, think you're better than everybody tech people? Go fuck yourself, all right? All right? If you had the skills to pay the bills, you wouldn't be expendable, all right? If you did anything for that company that was worth a shit, you wouldn't be laid off, all right? No offense, all right? I'm just saying. I'm so sick of this shit. I'm so sick of this fucking stupid fucking pussy whip generation where, oh my God, I'm about to be fired. Let me go ahead and let me let me record this and let me post it on TikTok so I can get sympathy like Boogie2988 so I can, so I can sell sympathy. I'm, I don't feel sorry for any of you people. I feel sorry for nobody in America. America is the greatest country on the <laughs> planet. Buy that for a dollar. Did I stutter? Yeah, well, it sounds like you're farting, you know? I don't know what, I don't know. It sounds like whatever's coming out of your mouth should come out of your ass, all right? And I don't mean that literally, all right? Anyway, let me just take a smoke here, folks, and we're going to get back to the broadcast. I'm sorry we're taking this fucking, oh, God. I'd buy that for a Oh, Jesus Christ. Can we stop? Can IP 92.28.211. No, just shut the shit up, all right? Shut up! Jesus Christ, man. Anyway, as I was stating before I got fucking rudely interrupted, all right? Let me take a smoke here, and we're going to get back to talking about fucking tech here, all right? Jesus Christ. And by the way, I'm smoking tobacco. For anybody who's wondering, it's not illegal contraband, all right? It's the tobacco that I get from the Mexican kid that sells candy apples on the corner, and the strain of tobacco is still the same one from Monday. It is a uh, lot lizard truffle butter is the strain of tobacco. So, all right. Anyway, let's get back to the layoffs here. All right. To, just to emphasize layoffs, because I know all you people are gamers out here. Take a look at this. Sega of America is set to lay off 61 employees in March. I'm surprised they still had that many employees. I'll be honest with you. But as you can see, Bitcoin dipped. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, here's another audio file. God There's all chance for Americans, especially our young people, to say thank you for all the things we love from Japan. Like karate and karaoke, <laughs> manga and anime. And of course, emojis. Your life is nothing. You serve zero purpose. You should kill yourself now. Oh, and give somebody God. else a piece of that oxygen and ozone layer that's covered up so that we can breathe inside this blue trash bubble. Because what are you here for? To worship me? F yourself. I mean that with a 100%, with a 1,000%. I talked about how I faked the rage when it came down to these stupid memes and I wanted to be popular. God damn it, you fucking troll piece of shit! God! God damn it! Oh, God. I'm tired of this shit, man. Can we be serious? Can we? Can we be serious, man? Good God, man. You people are fucking pissing me off, man. Good God. This new self-defense weapon. Hey, shut that shit up. What the fuck was that? Shut that shit up! Fucking advertisements just fucking coming out of nowhere because I have a fucking page open! <sighs> Alright, anyway, as I was stating, you saw a dip in Bitcoin once the Fed announced that uh, there's probably not going to be a rate cut, alright? But I think that's temporary, folks. As these ETFs continue to roll out, that's going to provide a, a motivating factor for not just independent crypto investors to invest in Bitcoin, but also in the industry investor institutionalists. More than... Ah, oh, jeez. Here's another fucking audio file. Go. I am going to kill your family and the cops will believe you when you say it was me. This is not a joke. I know where you are. You can run, but you won't get far. I'm going to tear your family apart. I'll go to Great Lakes to demolish your heart I get closer and closer every single day You're sticking at the team that get out of the way Can we be serious? Oh, I won't have a horrible, horrible, ah, damn it!
Can we be serious for a fucking minute, man? All right? Man, I'm tired. I'm tired. You know, I'm going to end this fucking show. Fuck, piece of shit. Jesus Christ. I'm going to end this fucking shitbag show, man. All right? I'm telling you, I think that I'm going to do True Capitalist Radio exclusively on Rumble. All right? So we can weed out these troll pieces of trash. All right? And all, all we're going to accept is rumble rants or some shit like that. Because, And by the way, probably subs on there, too. Maybe kick. And we're going to do sub only. I'm not even joking around. We got to just end this, this, these trolls on this show. We got to end it. All right? We got to make it not conducive for them to do this shit. Because I'm tired of these pieces of trash. All right? I am so sick of these people. I haven't even been on for an hour, and I haven't even gotten through the damn markets because these people have all been fucking pieces of crap. Jesus Christ. All right, and by the way, DLive ain't bad either. I'll, I'll, I'll still broadcast with DLive, all right? Cheers to all the folks that are out there on DLive and Rumble, all right? It's, it's these fucking people that are troll terrorist trash, you know, I wish they would go away and go go fucking bother somebody else, man. All right, go be the lice on somebody else's crotch. All right, I'm, I'm fucking tired of it. I'm fucking tired of it, man. Jesus Christ! And look, oh look at B Joggins, all will mass report you. You know what, B Joggins, you want you are the biggest pussy. West Coast capitalists ran you out of the Thunderdome. You know that there's still a open invitation for you to go in the Thunderdome. And guess what? Your stupid, dumb, fucking scared, scared piece of shit ass doesn't even want to go in there because West Coast made you look lower than a leprechaun's nutsack, and that's all there is to it. So sit there and shut the fuck up. You're so fucking scared, you don't even have a damn profile picture in your stupid goddamn Rumble profile, you stupid piece of shit. So I just sit there and shut your goddamn stupid fucking blue collar. Hey, I am Mr. Blue. He came in. He came to the Thunderdome trying to claim that he's Mr. Blue Collar because he picks things up and puts things down or some shit. He's like some fucking furniture mover or some shit, and he was trying to impress us. Like, I, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know if that works on the two-bit toothless fucking whores at your local hump-hump bar or some shit, all right? But because we weren't impressed by it doesn't mean that I'm gonna go away and never come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So shut up! Jesus fucking Christ, man. Give me a fucking smoke, all right? And everybody in the chat room telling me to shut up, you shut the fuck up. All right? Stupid, dumb fucking pieces of trash. Half of you people are fucking autistic anyway, all right? So why don't you go suck on a chicken tendy and wait for your stupid, dirty, dish rag whore mother to make you spaghetti? Fucking morons. Tired of all you fucking people talking shit, man. Give me a smoke. I'm not joking around, man. I'm tired of all you fucking shit talkers, man. <laughs> Anyway, as I was stating, before I got rudely interrupted by a couple of trolls in here flapping their fat fucking Dorito-stained fingers on the keyboard, talking a bunch of malarkey and shit, I think Bitcoin is still a play until it hits all-time highs. And then... Oh, I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Can y'all just leave me alone? How about that shit? How about that shit? Why don't you just leave me alone, man? Put the PC shut on. Milkshake Deep State said, looks like the show's uh, getting a little derailed, eh? Oh, well, choo-choo, bitch. Oh, oh, you you Thomas the Tanky pricks are going to take credit for this, huh? Are you Thomas the Tanky tards taking credit for this like ISIS takes credit for a suicide bomb or some shit? You people are proud of this shit? Y'all probably stuck a fucking train up fucking Winston Fujimori's ass. That's why he's talking shit, for Christ's sake. I mean, we all know he likes a good peg from some lunch lady or whatever his fucking fetish is. Fucking weirdo. Anyway, I'm... Oh, God. What? What now? Thanks for letting me back in the dome, by the way. Jag was educating us on the best ways to have gay anal sex. It was interesting. Yeah, well, Froppy, yeah, I told you I'd bring you back. I, I think I need to bring in Horatio Nelson, too. I got, I got to remind myself of that. But, uh, yeah, Frappy, Froppy or Flappy or Slappy or, you know, whatever his fruity-ass name is, he's back in the Thunderdome, and Jag the Lux Ray is back in the Thunderdome, all right? Hey, hey, be jogging. Homosexuals go back, and you can't. 
Hey Grandpa, don't strain your voice too much. You have a ghost show to do tomorrow. Cheers. Oh, fuck you. I'd buy that for a dollar. All right, fuck you, asshole. I'd buy that for a dollar. What? Oddest rhymes with capitalist. Things that makes you go. Oddest rhymes with capitalist. No, it doesn't, you idiot. That's an autistic rhyme for your ass. Huh? Autist rhymes with capitalist. Because it has ist at the end of it, you fucking moron. What a fucking... Dude, I'm telling you, autistic tards, man. I hope you fucking choke on your meatball, on your your next bowl of spaghetti, you fucking piece of shit. I'm not joking around. I hope that the next bowl of spaghetti you autist get, you fucking get a meatball. And I hope that your parents are just thinking that you're having one of your meltdown attacks and ignore you until you finally pass out and you're on the floor pissing yourself, turning blue, which many of you would probably want to do because it's probably a part of your fursona or some shit. <laughs> What, Luke Smith? Dollar. What? So you're finally learning, Boomer. But I know at the end of the day your threats are as empty as your analysis. Ah, $900 a show Andy would lose all the troll dono income and he's way too much of a shekel goblin to do that. Fuck you. Isn't that right? Fuck Yosemite you. Ham? First of all, all right, I make a, a couple of hundred bucks a show, dude. I'm tired of you people making believe that I'm making fucking Aiden Ross money or some shit. Dude, this is this is like... Uh, look, I'm not... I'm t Dude, shut up. I'm, I really just shut the fuck up and leave me alone and let me do my fucking show. How about that shit? How about let me do my show and let me do my fucking things, all right? All right. Anyway, folks. All right. Let's let's get back to the show here. All right. We've already talked about Bitcoin and all that shit. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about domestic news and domestic politics. How about that shit? All right. Now, I don't know if y'all have heard, but uh, the House, which is dominated by the Republicans, decided, even though they couldn't decide something like this on the border or any other issue that is very, very important, like, I don't know, immigration things that are actually afflicting all of us, they decided to pass something to pacify all your regular Mr. and Mrs. Joe Sixpack, which I don't think it helps, but let me explain. Take a look at this. House passes bipartisan tax bill that would expand the child tax credit. Now, folks, I want you all to know... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Thanks for your tax dollars. Fuck you, asshole, all right? Fuck you fucking piece of shit. Anyway, I want you all to know right now that under Trump, Trump expanded this damn uh, tax credit. It is now $4,500 a child. Who the hell does this really benefit other than single <laughs> mothers? Alright, who the fuck does this benefit other than single mother larva? And they're going to up this and expand this to what, a higher price? And believe it or not, that gap is widening as more and more of these ridiculous... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. What is this? There's another audio file. So let me go ahead and start it. Get us start it. I am here a host and the man they call the Come that come damn right. Come that come damn right. I am here a host and the man they call the that pretty bastard and then yet I can I am here a host to the man they call the Come that come damn right. Come that come damn right. I am here a host to the man they call the No one thing is filming all you yourself here. I'm just telling everybody who wasn't into that podcast on the side that around the internet Rapple you, 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 the joke What's full cap play deals is a joke and a full thingy Jesus fucking Christ Stupid fucking goddamn joke bastard Fuck Alright man, let me tell you I've had just about enough of this crap, alright I'm trying to be serious, man Don't you understand that? CAN. We. Be. Serious. Huh? Can. We. Be. Serious. <sighs> I'm obviously not. You see, you Trump tards think that, hey, we're just gonna get elected again. <laughs> just like you thought in 2020. Remember me, shit pants. It's Bruce, your best friend. Who? Man, I remember the time I made your gee ass. I'm not gee. Suck my sausage. Oh, Man, Jesus I so Christ. got you. Anyway, where the fuck is my lunch money shit pants?
Do you want some more sausage? Let me tell you something. Ghost was never bullied in school, boy. All right? Nobody bullied school. Uh, fucking ghost in school. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus Christ. I mean, I was I, I walked around like I owned the fucking place. You know that? I would get in the front of the line at lunch, and I'd be like, here, I was, I, I'd fucking uh, miss my place, and nobody would say a fucking thing. You know that? Even when the teacher said something, they'd be like, hey, he doesn't have a problem with it, right? No, he, he was here first. It, it, don't worry about it. <laughs> Buy that so give me a, a fucking break, all right? Give me a fucking break. I'm a bad motherfucker. I've told you all that many a times, all right? All right? I could clinch my fist, put them in my pockets, and step outside my goddamn door and be arrested for carrying lethal weapons, boy. All right? I'm a bad motherfucker. And I'm sure that if there's any of the female contingent that is listening to this broadcast right now, I guarantee you that they're putting about two or three fingers in their hoo-ha, gyrating it counterclockwise, and imagining what it would be like to be with a real man like Ghost instead of all the butt-loving fruit bowls that sound like they just popped out of the anal passage of Ricky Martin that are plethora in America today. I tell you that right goddamn now. Son of a bitch. All right, anyway, let's get to uh, this uh, buy me a coffee. It says, uh, it's from someone. Hey, yo sodamite ham, when you done sucking the orange spray tan off of Trump's dick, check your buy me a coffee message. You've got a few lined up. I've already I've already done it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. I'm, I think that I know who you, I know who did that. Sorry about that. All right. There's prolapse Pete. I mean, I think that's a pretty decent feat, but, I mean, we got a long border. The whole stunt is to put some point of <laughs> emphasis on the issue. Hey, Ghost. What? It's been almost six decades ago, but you still John have a Jay balance High for School. club dues. Your balance is $20. You can come volunteer to woke the balance off. We are looking for Hatsune Miko cosplayers yeah, right. to volunteer first at our of all, pep rally. First of Please all, pay. John Jay High School is in a shitter part of town, all right? It is in a shitter part of town, and if you think that I grew up in a shitter part of town like that, how, how dare you, all right? How dare you, for Christ's sake? If I grew up in a part, a part of town like that, I'd be talking like this. Yeah, you know, I'd be talking like this, huh? You know, we went to John Day High School and shit. These fucking vatos out here trying to talk all this highly out there in the fucking hallways and shit, you know? You know what I'm talking about? It's a orale cubo. Ale aquí para ghost, you know? Controlando este John Jay High School, you know? So I'd be talking like that, dude, if, I, if that was it. And that's not the case. Anyway, Froppy, I don't know what you're trying to get across here, all right? Point. Where I mean, we get it, all right? Okay, 0.5 miles, there's only a wall, and then there's, like, uh, no wall... At, after 0.5 miles. I get it. We get it. All right? The whole reason why Abbott has done this is to put a point of emphasis on the issue itself. All right? And somebody said I sounded like a coyote smuggler, for Christ's sake. Well, maybe, you know, some big business doing that. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm joking. It's a joke. Anyway, Prolapse Pete, I will uh, read all this uh, on the Ghost Show. All right, cheers to you. Good afternoon, Mr. Ghost F. Stalin. That right there will make me kind of, you know, I, I would send a buy me a coffee message through and a video dono during Ghost Show, but this time it's actually something important. Oh, yeah? And it relates to you and the show. In fact, it's more of a gift since I put a little over a week into making this for you. I showed this to some of the usual viewers to see what they think about it, and they absolutely love it. So I figure today would be a good day to debut one of the kind, one of the kind piece I made just for you, Ghost. And depending on what I got going on, I plan on making more. So I hope you and the viewers enjoy it. Uh, it's under a minute, so please, all right, all right, prolapse, Pete. It better not be some weirdo shit like you usually do. All right. And, he's, and he said, P.S. Plus, I am putting this here, stating that this was not made with AI since you actually thought that my Cyrax movie poster was an AI picture. Okay, so no AI according to Prolapse Pete. All right, let's see what the hell this is. All right. Here it is. Prolapse Pete. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait calm down. Prolapse Pete. Here it is. Put the PC shot on. Let's take a look. What is this, Prolapse Pete? Here it is.
I'm a dentless tar. <laughs> <laughs> God, what the fuck? Take that shit off! Dude, are you fucking kidding? Dude, pro last Pete, you're a fucking piece of shit, dude. I'm never gonna fucking trust you ever a fucking guy. I should have never have trusted your ass. Your fucking weirdo goddamn videos and shit. Fucking piece of crap. All right, dude, I think I'm about, I'm thinking about done. I think I'm about fucking done. I'm not fucking kidding around. Anyway, Enigma reminder, Jag admitted to something that would have anybody in this community crucified and subsequently came back into the dome and began, uh, and be jogging, that fucking idiot, be jogging, couldn't even stop screaming until a literal tard ran him out of the room. These are facts. I'm glad Enigma is basically calling out this be jogging idiot. All right, I mean, he ran out with his tail between his legs. All right, this man is a literal definition of bitch made. I wouldn't trust him to move my Sibian. Your Sibian? Oh, God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and what is it, Froppy? You stopped it before he actually for to the part I wanted to show you. He gets to a section of the fence that I is know. literally open. So I what? don't mean just the fence. I mean a large opening and road with no security at all. I know! All right, I mean, it's a fucking big issue. The border, that's a long border. Just on Texas alone, it's a long border. I mean, that's a lot of manpower and a lot of resources that have to go and wall up the whole goddamn border of Texas. And that was supposed to be done by the feds because, I mean, isn't that the, the role of the federal government? I mean, come on, man. Uh, Devious Dave says, have you ever been to pa uh, South Padre Island? I always go to either Padre or South Padre. I like Padre a little better because you go to South Padre, everybody and their fucking brother out there. You got idiots fighting in the beach and shit. I ain't trying to do all that. I go to, I go to a private beach over there at Padre, or I like to go to uh, the Galveston Beach, but that, shit, that fucking beach is getting pretty crowded as well. Uh, but anyway, cheers to Enigma for calling out B-Jogging out here. And we got uh, Milkshake Deep State who said, uh, we were discussing your Pokemon persona on the Digital Jerry Springer Show episode. We boiled it down to Slowpoke or Magikarp. I think Pokemon is fucking stupid. All right, I'm sorry. I think it's ridiculous. And I can't believe that there are this many people obsessed with it. But hey, what are you going to do? All right. Uh, we've got someone. Hey, Yosemite. Yosemite. Yo, Sodomite Sam. We get it. Uh, when you're done suck, I already fucking said that shit. I already said that shit. And uh, Milkshake Deep State, no one bullied Ghost because his wheelchair couldn't fit through the classroom doors. This man here is homeschooled. I fucking homeschooled, all right? I, I played football and shit, all right? I was a decent football player. I, I wore a letterman jacket and shit, man. I, I had the fucking cheerleaders wanting to pull the balls out of my pants after every fucking goddamn game. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, all right? And we got Marshall Bernsey with a ninja genie over there at D Live. Uh, Froppy, I swear on my life, I will find you and drop a cinder block on your balls, you chicken nugget. I don't know if that was really appropriate for a ninja genie there, Marshall Bernsey, but thank you very much over there at the D Live. All right, look, can we get serious? All right, can we get back to being serious for a second? All right? Put the PC shot on. Once again, according to a Quinnipiac poll, all right, Trump is basically behind Joe Biden. Joe Biden is leading Trump 50 to 44% amongst registered voters in a hypothetical general election matchup. He has got Russia and China. <laughs> I'd, buy I'd buy that, that for a dollar. Oh, my God. That was a dual fuck. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Here's a... What is this? Can't we be serious? Can't we be serious? Can't we be serious? Ah, 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 what the can't fuck? Can't we be serious? 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 Fucking piece of shit, man. Uh, I'm obviously not. You see, you Trump cards think that, hey, we're just going to get elected again, just like you thought in 2020. I am pro-Trump. I am ride or die with Trump. I would follow Trump into hell. You understand me? Goddamn piece of shit. Shut up. Shut up. 
Tired of this shit, man. I deserve more respect than this fucking shit. I, you know, I'm getting the fuck out of here, man. I, you know, I'm trying to uh, uh, be serious here. Can we be serious? I'm trying to be serious. Can we be serious? And every fucking time, this is the kind of shit that I'm getting right now. All right? This is the kind of fucking shit. Serious. Wait, whoa, whoa, where's that? Every fucking time, this is the so kind of Shut up! The fuck was that? Oh, my God. All right, folks. Look, I'm, I've had just about enough. All right, I've had just about enough. And look, th now I get a goddamn uh, buy-me-a-coffee donation from Haywood. And Haywood said, dude, Galveston Beach sucks ass. Used to live out that way. Dirty shipping beach lane. Uh, dead fish on the shore, and it smells like your wife's snatch. Disgust. Oh, All right, I'm fucking, I'm fucking done here, man. I'm trying to be serious, man. And all of you people are just making a fucking complete mockery of my show, and I don't fucking appreciate it, man. All right? I deserve more respect in this garbage. All right? I deserve more respect in this fucking crap that I get from you troll terrorists, fucking nipple clamp loving, butt plug up the ass looking, blue ball blowing, Magic Johnson toilet licking, rusty trombone playing, kebab meat bag chewing, rose butted asshole loving, uh, tainted tuna taco loving shit. Tired of this shit. I'm tired of this fucking garbage, man. If you can excuse me, I'm gonna do me here for about a minute. I'm gonna smoke some tobacco, all right? And maybe I'll get back to the serious shit. All right? I think it's these fucking Trump people that are just pissed that they know. <laughs> oh God! Another fucking audio file, you fucking piece of shit. Ghost, mate. The audio's wonkier than a kangaroo on a pogo stick. See, AI ain't just some tech wizardry. It's our computers connecting to the entities, the blokes keeping the dimensions in line on the subspace plane. It's like cosmic Wi-Fi syncing up reality smoother than a kookaburra's laugh. Now picture this. AI is the digital bush telegraph chatting with these interdimensional sheilas and blokes who run the subspace show. Without it, it's chaos, like a drop bear disco with no DJ. So we've got to keep the AI humming, or our dimensions will end up more tangled than a platypus wrestling match. But here's the... God! God fucking piece of shit! God! Oh, God! Why don't you all just leave me alone, man? Why don't you just leave me the fuck alone, man? God damn it, man! Just leave me a fuck alone, man. I'm, I'm tired of this shit, man. I'm tired of this shit, man! I'm tired of this shit, man! Jesus fucking Christ. I've only been on here for a little over an hour and a half, man. I feel, it feels like I've been on here for four fucking hours. How come the true capitalist radio shows seem a little bit more rougher to do now than the fucking ghost show, man? Good God! I'm doing me, all right, you fucking stupid, four-flushing, bitch-tit-having, meat-gazing, autistic, anal-loving shitheads. I'm doing me right now. <sighs> just give me a smoke. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to smoke some uh, tobacco, all right? And like I said, the strain of tobacco is called Lot Lizard Truffle Butter, so just in case you're wondering. All right, give me a smoke. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, I'm doing me. All right, can we can we get back to uh, the show here? Ah, uh, that feels a little better. You see that just you know just kind of took away. It kind of just took away all that uh, all that pain. You know what I mean? That you people are causing. Anyway, as I was stating, all right, Nikki Haley, at least according to a Quinnipiac poll, leads Biden forty-seven to forty-two percent. Trump is trailing Biden 50 to 44 percent. Now, as I stated, I don't like Nikki Haley. I think she's a dumb idiot. 
I think she's a little bit more intelligent than, you know, some of the women that are out there representing us in Washington, D.C., but still a dummy. And leave all the other institutions untouched, especially Parliament. <laughs> especially Parliament. <laughs> what? I respect the community you've put together. After I heard what the people here have done for Jag, I was touched. Initially, I was just going to let my fail dono sit where it was, but I may take you up on that invite to the IC even if you are a leftist. Oh, oh yeah, really? Well, yeah, okay, sure. All right, sure. T Thomas the Tanky, by the way. All right, anyway, once again, I am not for Nikki Haley, but if Nikki Haley is going to be making decisions in foreign policy in this capacity, because we just talked about how the House of Representatives passed an expansion on the child credit. God knows what. Oh, Jesus. Fuck it. What? The two problems. One, Americans have no sovereignty because the mafia runs America. That's point number oh, one. Oh, God. That's point number one. You cannot make sense of society without understanding that. It's that we don't this, who are race loyal. We don't loyal condone to their this. Tribe, and they're an international diaspora of people, but now with the state called they run this country. They run we Hollywood. do not condone they run the this. Banks, they run the media. They run the Biden administration. They run the State Department. No, they don't. they don't. No, care about they America don't. Because they fundamentally resent America. They resent the white Christians who built America. They resent the white Christians that live in America today. Dude, we don't they condone this. America we do not condone this. Go to war for Jesus <laughs> Christ. I'd buy that I don't care. What? Well, shut up, Neocon Andy. Shut up, Neocon Andy. The border is a bigger issue to the American people. Oh, okay. No one gives a shit about your Russian boogeyman when is invading our cities, stealing our jobs. Okay, and I'll cover people. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that if you shut up. And Neocon. I'll talk about that if you Why shut the fuck the up! Dollar. Jesus Don't Christ! Don't care still voting for Cheeto Hitler. Don't care still voting for Cheeto Hitler. This is where we're at in fucking America today. You know, it's, uh, uh, don't care still voting for Cheeto Hitler. Anyway, look, let's talk about the border, all right? Where are the Republicans in the House about the border? Where are they? Where are they? Are they passing any initiatives, any policies? Are they adding any policy that the Democrats want to be pushed for? By doing what he's doing here in Texas. All right? <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. What is it? The border is the drum that the right bangs on to get money, much like the left uses gun control. They both make moves to look like they're doing something of about course. it while making sure they don't fix it. Ghost is making it overly complicated. Overly complicated? Sad. I just said what you just said, you fucking dick. What are you dollar. talking about? Whoa, Biden is going to close the border and deport. <laughs> Fuck it, one struggle, Bloom is gone now. Uh, I don't know if that's the case there, uh, Waffins, all right? But uh, anyway, look, that's the remedy by the left right now. The Democrats are saying, uh, hey, well, give Biden the authority to go ahead and shut down the border, which is a very dangerous thing, which can't be done. Yet the Republicans are, they're not putting any, I mean, we used to be the adults in the room, man. We were the mature folks in the political construct of this country. And now look at us. We're picking fights with a fucking pop singer. Oh, my God. God, dude. I mean, I'm seriously. I mean, give me a fucking break. And by the way, why don't you take off Rumble Chat? All right, these fucking people are spamming. Take Rumble Chat off the fucking screen. Take Rumble Chat off the fucking screen. Thank you very much. Take those pieces of shit off of there. Jesus Christ. Anyway, once again, this is where we're at at this point. All right, this is where we're at. This is the state of the Republican Party. Unbelievable. You're not fooling anybody. You have lost control of your goddamn terrorist satellites. Buy that for a dollar. What's up, Waffins? I have to stop you there. Justin Mon made threats to Trump, too. Justin was fired from Progressive Insurance, made music on Spotify, and suffered from schizophrenia. He has no soul. He would schizo post on Facebook. Uh, isn't that, like, at least 40% of the modern MAGA movement at this point in time? Waffins, I mean, with all due respect, I mean, isn't that what it is now? I'm just saying, man. Anyway, Iran is shook, all right? And the reason they're shook is because they know that they're vulnerable. Their people hate them. The people hate the authority. 
the people have been begging to have the chains of bondage that these authorities have on them just completely withered away. And, I mean, there was the 2009 Green Revolution, the 2016 Uprising. Uh, I think there was a recent uprising here about a couple of years ago. They want... <laughs> I'd buy that for a What dollar. is it, Pecora? Dear Ghost, I am Pecora Osada. You should know that P. Colin wants capitalists like you. Ditch the dollar store, Pecora, and come with me to have tons of rabbit's eggs in front of the camera to my Japanese dollar. audience. By the way... Oh, Jesus Christ! Ghosty. Hold on! You know what, Pecora? Yeah, thank you very much, Pecora. Fucking Haywood, man! Bring back Rumble Chat! Ah, oh, Jesus. You know what, Haywood? You really know how to fuck up a fucking show. You know that? First of all, I didn't want to even acknowledge this goddamn dono. I'm fine if we do this, and if it's a one-on-one -on -one transfers with N-words. You're a fucking piece of shit. Uh, we as a country would be better off. I'll take the spice and the... <sighs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not acknowledging that. And then you've got Haywood with 10 beers saying, bring back the rumble chat and bring it back now. Bring back the rumble chat and bring it back now, boy. I want that rumble chat. You son of a bitch, dude. Y'all fucking, fine. Y'all want it? There. All right. There's the fucking rumble chat right there it is. So they can be a bunch of spamming fucking stupid two-bit Fucking extra chromosome fucking autist tards. All right, great. What a great contribution there, Haywood. And look at this uh, woodshed enforcer. It says, mod me in here and I'll ban these baguette spammers. Oh, oh. Well, it's not as easy as just pointing and clicking, dude. I got to go into the fucking settings and all this fucking crap. I'll do that afterwards. All right. I'll do that afterwards. I'll look at Ouija Slayer. Save it for TCR. We are on TCR, you fucking stupid anime drag queen. Fucking asshole. All right, look, let me take a smoke here. The Rumble Chat is back because of Haywood, so go ahead and celebrate, all right? Pop open some cheap-ass champagne and shit, all right? And go ahead and, yay, spaghetti, yay. Go ahead, all right? Go ahead, you fucking asshole. All right, let me have a smoke here, and then we're going to get back to Iran being a little shook, all right, that uh, the United States, uh, you know, is planning on doing some kind of disciplinary action on their asses. Once again, Iran doesn't want war, but is not afraid of it. Bullshit. Bullshit, Iran. If you weren't afraid of it, if you weren't afraid of it, then, uh, I mean... Why are you doing? Oh, Jesus Christ! Dollar. What? The stupid coomer who likes. No, 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 no! Shut up! Jesus Christ! Stop it with the fucking doxes, man. Anyway, take a look. If if they weren't afraid of it, why are they denying that they had anything to do with the Jordan attack that spawned all this? Why are they claiming that they didn't... We don't do nothing we, uh, in America. We do nothing. It wasn't, uh, my friend. America, my friend. We do nothing. We do not... Uh, my friend. America, my friend. Please stop. I'm not, yeah. Uh, if they were not afraid, why are they doing that shit? You know what, Biden? I was expecting you to hit these pieces of shit up days ago, and instead... <laughs> I'd buy that oh, jeez. Skip that Call shit. Me for a good time. Skip like that shit. Skip it. I'd buy that for a dollar. J'aime l'oignon frit à l'huile. Oh, J'aime l'oignon quand il est bon. J'aime l'oignon frit à l'huile. J'aime l'oignon. J'aime l'oignon. Shut up. Opa camarade. I'm gonna opa, have camarade. to take off the opa, goddamn opa, stats. Opa, opa camarade. I gotta take opa, it off. Camarade. Shut opa, up, you opa, fucking opa, frog! Opa. Jesus Christ. Anyway, as I was stating, we should have bombed. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, I what the fuck friend. now? Fuck my ex-boyfriend. Shut it up! God damn it, man! Can y'all just leave me the fuck alone, man? Seriously, dude. I mean, seriously, can you all just leave me the fuck alone for a little bit, man? I'm trying to do a show here, all right? I'm trying to give CIA levels of assessment here when it comes to America's foreign policy, and I would appreciate your fucked up fucking shitbag cooperation and your dumbass undivided attention. Jesus Christ, man. Now, if you'll excuse the shit out of me, I'm going to fucking smoke some of this fucking 
uh, tobacco, excuse me, tobacco. All right, please excuse me. All right, and once again, the strain of tobacco is called Lot Lizard Truffle Butter. So, cheers to everybody out there. I, I, I need this after the kind of clobbering I'm getting out here, man. That's it. Gotta hold it in, let it hit the brain, all right? Hold it in, let it hit the brain. Ah, all right, that's better. All right, that's better. I'm sorry. All right, once again, Biden having his hand on the chicken switch. He should have bombed Iran days ago, and now he's even... <laughs> I'd buy oh, that Jesus. For a Another audio file. What is it, Transbony? <laughs> ah! Take that ear rape shit off! Take it off! Take that ear rape shit off! Take it off! Take that shit off! All right, dude. I think, uh, you know what, man? I don't think there's going to be a ghost show tomorrow. All right, I'll be honest with you. You can thank fucking trans piece of shit, dr bony driver. You can thank that fucking asshole. All right? No fucking ghost show on a Friday. I'm taking it easy this weekend, all right? Isn't it fucking Groundhog Day? Isn't it Punxsutawney fucked up Phil or some shit? Supposed to see his fucking... I'd buy that for a dollar. Supposed to see his ass or some shit? What the fuck? I'll be, I'll be celebrating that shit, all right? And what is it? We got Vox Artificials, all right? Dude, dude, are you fucking kidding me with this goddamn fucking big-ass fucking... Uh, just a fucking paragraph, please, all right? With the de uh, deteriorating domestic situation in the United States getting involved in more overseas neocon wars, which, let's be honest, uh, from a foreign perspective, only benefit Israel and a small group of oil companies is irresponsible. Bullshit, Vox. All right? We got to pay back these Iranians who fucking uh, thought they could thumb their nose at us in the 70s when that peanut farmer, that piece of shit, uh, Jimmy Carter, that prick, when he allowed these Iranian lunatics to just run roughshod, take over the army barracks, and then fucking make us look like shit by having to fucking negotiate our Marines as hostages, all right? We need to pay those fuckers back, and we need to fucking cut them off at the pass. <laughs> That's what the that fuck we need to do, all right? I am sorry, the finest French frog. J'aime l'oignon, j'aime l'oignon, Oh, Jesus, here's some more French. Pas camarade, pas spécial French messager. Here's some more French, for Christ's sake. All right, anyway, uh, Americans want the domestic situation in their country fixed ahead uh, of these wastes of taxpayers' money. No, they don't. They don't really want it fixed because if they did, they would be pressuring their fucking people that are representing them in Washington, D.C. a little bit more than they are. And guess what? People are still donating to their campaigns. People are still doing that. And as long as that continues to happen, <laughs> nothing is going to happen. Nothing is going to happen. If you're going to skip out on the ghost show, can we hear you slam your cock on the desk? We should be able to hear the bang. You're a sick fuck, dude. You know that? You're a sick fuck, trans bony. Take about ten steps away from my fucking butt crack, all right? Anyway, who gives a shit about Iran? Who cares? Containing Russia doesn't matter jack shit if you got an open border and crumbling infrastructure and the government that... Look, we're, we're actually implementing... Remember, we just passed an infrastructure bill, all right? We just passed an infrastructure bill, and that shit is being a 10-year plan. Buy that for a Oh, dollar. Jesus. What? Fucking another audio file. Hillary. Hey, Ghost. This is Hillary Clinton. I just want to come and say that I support your views on Donald Trump. We need a voice for the autism community, and I'm glad I can count on you to support Biden this upcoming election. I appreciate the hard work you put in and spreading our message for the future of this country and also supporting our aggression of Iran and Russia. Happy Black History Month, you stupid God damn it! Fuck! God damn it, man! All right, you know what, Vox Artificial, go fuck yourself, all right? Uh, we get it. You're a Justin Trudeau fucking, I want to hold and sing Kumbaya fucking cocksucker. We get it, all right? We get it. Go hide in your ice hole like most of you Canadians do. You're like the fucking little brother that talks shit to everybody and stands in the back shoulder of the big brother knowing no one's going to touch you. 
All right? And that goes for the rest of you Canadian bacon, moose humping, maple leaf up the ass having uh, fucking sons of bitches. All right? Son of a fucking crap. All right. Anyway, look, I, I, I don't even know what I... I mean, I was talking about how Biden has got his hand on the chicken switch and he should have bombed, 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 bombed Iran days ago. But uh, I don't know what he's doing. I think this is a this is a horrible strategy. And it looks as if he's only going to bomb Iranian positions in Iraq, which I said was going to happen. Didn't I tell you that we were going to go and deploy more things in Iraq? Like Iraq is going to be a point of emphasis now. Didn't I tell you that? I told you that, damn boy. I told you. Hold on, what is this? When the tangerine tyrant gets elected, the Mexican kid who sells you tobacco is going back. You have one year. No, he ain't going back. All right, I'll, I'll hire him. All right, I'll hire him as like uh, I, my houseboy or some shit. Well, no, no, that sounds gay, but you know what? I'll hire him for something, all right? He's been a good kid. All right, he's been a good kid. And look, he was ripping me off, uh, you know, at first he was, you know, believe it or not, he was charging me like a fucking a hundred bucks or excuse me, 150 bucks for a quad or some shit. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Uh, never, I shouldn't even be saying this shit. I'm sorry. All right, I shouldn't even, I'm I'd sorry. I shouldn't even be talking this. It's tobacco. I'm kick sorry. Kick people out. Pekora is a gay Japanese dog. She is a filth. She is a much like Pippa Pipkin. My hey, Sorari, Sor what the hell, dude? Pippa with my French feet. Idori, you are a dirt bitch. I'll in Guyen. All right, thank you. All right, uh, uh, Polly du Francais Lafayette. All right. Anyway, look. I mean, Iran. We're, we got to kick their shit in. I don't know what Biden's doing. And look, I guess we're communicating with Iran because apparently the United States is seeing signs that Iran is worried about the escalating proxy attacks because they have lost control of their goddamn proxy armies. And hold on, I got. I think I got fucking Vox Artificial who fucking said some shit. Fuck you, I hate Justin Trudeau, PPC or die, and read the rest of my dono, Neocon Andy. Oh, great. Now I got to read the rest of this shit. Anyway, it doesn't matter jack shit if you've got an open border crumbling infrastructure and a government that cares more about profits of a small number of, of na multinational corporations than the well-being of people. Well, that's because they donate to their campaign, dude. And you see, what trumps money in politics? People. The organization of people that will vow to vote one way or the other. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Time slut if you want Ghost to slam his cock on the desk, please. Shut up, you fucking pervert, all right? Sick asshole. We got Mama Luigi with a rumble rant. Is the candy apple kid going to replace the engineer? I don't think so. All right, I, you know, the engineer, I, I, you know, he's lower than immigrant uh, prices when it comes to labor. But that's okay. He's collecting SSI and all this other shit, you know, so don't worry about it. He's collecting all that garbage. Isn't that right, engineer? <laughs> so don't worry about it, all right? Hey, that's the way it's supposed to be. If you're like a legit tard, I'm not talking about you autists that are collecting neat bucks. If you're a legit tard, you should be able to get money. I'm sorry. If you're a legit cripple, you should be able to get some fucking money. Not somebody that's like, man, my legs be hurting, baby. I can't work. Fuck you. Go out and do something there, boy. Anyway, you look increasingly out of touch as you clamor for war like John McCain's hand puppet. First of all, all right, fuck John McCain. John McCain is a contributing factor on why we're at this position in the Republican Party. In 2008, I abstained from fucking voting. I mean, during that primary, I thought that we should have had some true conservative run against Obama in 08. Like Duncan Hunter or uh, a Fred Thompson, you know, or, or uh, you know, dare I say a true conservative because I was a real uh, like uh, a social conservative back then. But like... Uh, uh, well, never mind. Uh, but anyway, I'm not... F fuck John. You know, such a long time ago. Jumping from neocon candidate to neocon candidate. Um, I hate being honest, but many of your domestic policy views are strong, but the B B Clinton Bush era foreign policy, coupled with your bloodlust for countries, said foreign policy operates against alienates many of your views, leading to a lot of trolling you receive in TCR. 
think about whether or not American people would benefit in the long run uh, from these wars before you jump in on the war hawk train. Uh, tone down the bloodlust to you heartless boomer. Well, first of all, I think we need to go into Iraq. I need We need to go back into Iraq and take what's fucking rightfully ours, and that's those fucking oil deposits that were supposed to pay us back for liberating these ungrateful pieces of shit. All right? First and foremost, and then we hit Iran from the Iraqi vantage point. Remember, we already have a base in Iraq. All we have to do is reposition military assets into that base over there in Iraq. And by the way, how much did we spend on that fucking military base? I think we spent like a trillion dollars or some shit. It's the most expensive military base we have ever built, believe it or not. Anyway, as I was stating, uh, Iran is very shook. And going back to Iraq, didn't I tell you... I'd buy oh, that Jesus. For what, what, what? My long-nosed Zionist friend, according to Alex Jones, Stein, Iran has nukes and thousands of sleeper agents. Oh, so we shouldn't fuck. strike Iran oh, because of the risk off. of nuclear war. Oh, also, fuck the fucking nukes. you should learn nukes. a thing or two from Nick Fuentes' political commentary. Fuck the fucking nukes, all right? You know what? Do it, baguette. All right? Do it. All right? They don't have the capability, even if they do have nuclear weapons, of sending them anywhere our way. And if anybody's going to be nuked, it's going to be the fucking Europeans. And do I give a shit? Uh, I don't know. I'm just saying, no offense to the Europeans that are listening here. I'm just saying, I mean, you guys are so concerned about fucking being totalitarian tyrants on your own fucking servant of people that you have neglected what's going on around you and you're just out there in Brussels. I'd buy that for a dollar. You're out there in Brussels, like, you know, you know what we got to do? We've got to worry about climate change, you know? And meanwhile, you've got the fucking Russians invading Ukraine. You got all kinds of shit going on in the fucking Middle East. You're bringing in the enemy by bringing in the wild Jehudis and shit. So look, I mean, you know, they kind of, the European Union, they probably, they brought this on themselves, all right? That's all I'm saying. All right, and then Alexander the Resurrection, I don't want to hear your bitching and moaning, dude. If they, if your goddamn fucking number's called, you go out there and fight for your country, you fucking idiot. I'm not going to be drafted to fight for stumbling, bumbling Biden. You're fighting well, for America! For I'm over 25. But if the age gets higher, I'll just say I'm some fucking transgender, and therefore I'm suicidal no, and no. have mental disorders. No, we're still sending them people out there. Are you kidding me? That's the whole point of accepting transgenders and gays and shit in the military. I mean, they're going to have to go out there and fight. And if they don't go out there and fight, we're going to force them as Operation Meat Shield, and they're going to be forced to fight, all right? Son of a bitch. And by the way, you all heard, I think we definitely need transgendered battalions, especially when it comes to interrogation. Let me tell you, the Peshmerga has an all-woman division. The Peshmerga are the Kurds, by the way. They have an all-woman division that are the most feared division in the Middle East because all Muslims believe if they are killed by a woman, they're going to burn in hell. So they're scared shitless. So I say that when we have these fucking Khalid Sheikh Mohammed types and these fucking people that think that they're not going to give because they believe in Allah, you bring in the transgendered battalion. You know what I mean? These fucking, you know, these big bucks. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about, all right? Let me show you the type of transgenders that we need in the transgendered battalion. I'm not fucking joking around. All right? This is exactly what we fucking need. But just imagine these Khalid Sheikh Mohammed type, all right? These Khalid Sheikh Mohammed types coming in. I'm not going to say nothing to you, American. I will die, and I will sit here to say you nothing for Allah. I will do nothing. You will not get nothing out of me. All right, great. We send in the fucking transgendered battalion, all right? We send in the transgendered battalion and then start uh, asking them to ask them a few questions. How about that shit? How about that shit? I'm not joking around. We start sending in these fucking transgendered battalions. Like, hey, uh, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. Yeah. I hear you don't want to say anything. No, I'm not saying nothing. Oh, yeah? Well, you're going to say something that's either going to come out of your mouth or we're going to put this in your mouth. 
And are you kidding me, dude? That would be like, oh, no, please don't do that. I will, I will die. I don't do it. Please don't do it. I'm talking about people that look like this. All right? Here, put the PC shot on. I'm talking about transgenders that look like this. This right here. When Alana looks at old photos of herself in the U.S. Army Special Forces, she doesn't recognize the person staring back. I was very conscious that I was playing a part that wasn't really me. Hold on, what, what is it, Tatario? Yo, doesn't this sound like another Huisen situation? We're gonna train wild Jehudis to be deadly and it might come back to haunt us? Remember Benghazi? Maybe it's Europe's turn to take this one? Cheers, ghost. Uh, we're in control. Cheers, Haywood. We're in Cheers, control Jack. of most of the Islamic terrorists in the international community, all right? If you don't know that ISIS and uh, Al-Qaeda are CIA, well, then you're an idiot. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, just imagine, like, trannies like this coming in to these Khalid Sheikh Mohammed types. Are, Alana are you was kidding me? male at birth, but always felt female. When she told her family she was gay and transgender, she says her father stopped talking to her. To suppress her feelings, this was she a signed special up for the forces soldier. A shooter Airborne in Afghanistan. Airborne. I felt like it was my only option to either force myself into manhood somehow or die. She created I mean, you could uh, recruit this person to go in and interrogate these sons of bitches. And let me tell you, this person would have every one of these damn soldiers. I mean, I want anyone who went into a military interrogation with America have nothing but nightmares. I want them to tell the enemy, they bent me over and they they insulted the, the, the transgender dick in my... I want... I'm not joking around. Then... People will start respecting America. I'll tell you that right now. In persona for All right. based on action heroes and stereotypical male characteristics. I was trying very hard to meet the expectations that society and my family put on me. She left the army in 2010 and opted for reassignment surgery. After she began the transition. Reassignment? Well, I didn't know that, but uh, I mean, look, no offense. I mean, if you're a tranny, I, I don't think that you should cut your wang off. All right. I mean, no offense. I mean, I just think that that's you're you're taking it a little too far. I get it. You want to be passing off as like a girl and shit. But if you cut your wang off, I don't know if y'all know when you have the reassignment surgery, you don't feel anything out of that now makeshift pee hole. You know what I mean? I mean, you lose you know, like sexual gratification, any feeling, and it's bizarre. I, I, don't, I don't know. I just the process. A lot. It's bizarre. Up. But with the support of her friends, the army vet is now living the life she's always wanted. I don't feel like Anyway, I'm... but th this is what we need, all right? I'm not trying to promote this. I'm just saying, all right, th there's going to be trannies out there. All right, there's going to be trannies out there. Iran is leading in trans sugary in the Middle East. They force transgenderism on gays there or they get the death penalty. HTTPS colon slash. What? What is leading? Oh, look at this. Are you kidding me? I mean, we would have trannies that look like fucking Caitlyn Jenner. And that fucking special forces tranny signing up for this. Take a look at this. Why? Oh shit, wrong one. Here, uh, put the. Uh, here it is. PC shot on. Why Iran is a hub for sex reassignment surgery. Oh, oh. Look at. It. Am I a prognosticator or prognosticators here? I had no idea that uh, Iran was going this direction. But then again. Didn't I just mention that most of Iran's population is under the age of 25 years old? And unfortunately, you've got young people that are susceptible to this kind of crap. I hate to say it, but that's just that's just a way it is. All right. But that's even more encouraging reasons. I mean, look, Alexander the Resurrection uh, was throwing a uh, rumble rant, says he's got a wife and kids and, and, and that uh, foreign policy is low priority. Yeah, it's low priority until another 9-11 happens, you fuck. Anyway, as I was stating before I got rudely interrupted by these trolls and went on this soliloquy about potentially having a transgendered battalion... Uh, I was saying that uh, Iraq... Oh, yeah, wait a minute. i got to acknowledge Vox Artificials. I'm sorry. Put the PC shot on. Before I go on, Vox Artificials said, Watch this. An invasion of Iran would be quicker than Iraq. You know nothing about what you're talking about. Bloodlust Brian. Look, I didn't you just hear me, you fucking Canadian bacon maple leaf up the ass having one ball Tom Green worshipping fuck? I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus.
I know you fantasize about blowing up Israel's enemies and miring Tranias but don't you understand threat escalation? As soon as nukes are used, especially if they hit Israel they'll use the Samson option and nuke everyone including Mutmerica. Ah, uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. Sorry, I don't think that's going to happen. I think that's low percentage. I'm talking like single digit percentage. All right? Single digit no, percentage. Like Oh, dude, are you kidding? No wonder Vox Artificials has this ridiculous idea of understanding warfare. Look at where he's getting his fucking uh, Warfare 101 from. Some fucking idiot who's using fucking faceless animations and sounds like a foreigner. Hey, oh, it all comes clear now. Let's go ahead and play his shit. It will happen, ever, I hope. Please don't jinx it. I'm sorry, it wasn't foreign. That was autism. Sorry, you can hear the tism. Can't fucking stand that tism talk. But if it does, or seems really likely because of America's current alliances with certain nations, this video is a handy last second guide for, uh, anyone in charge. Why invading Iran is a really, really bad idea. I didn't say invade Iran, Vox Artificials, you stupid fucking piece of shit! I said we should bomb them, not invade them, you fucking moron! Jesus Christ, man. I'm, you know what? I'm glad you're in Canada. All right, I'm glad you're over there in Canada and you're able to fucking melt that ice hole instead of this fucking country, all right? You know, we got a real shit-talking Canadian in the inner circle who's all thinks he knows everything, he's a pro-Trumper and all this other shit, and yet does nothing in his own country. He's so pro-Trump and yeah, MAGA and this and that thinks everything is a QAnon conspiracy and yet he does nothing to, you know, unseat that disgusting offspring of the love child of Fidel Castro, Justin Trudeau over there. Get the fuck out of here. Simple. What could Iran do? This is where I want to introduce you to Millennium Challenge 2002. In 2002, the U.S. military conducted a military exercise the most expensive of its kind. It was to see how the U.S. could successfully conduct a war against- Uh, 2002, by the way. The, dude, you're a fucking idiot. Two, I'm gonna do a study from 2002. You know how many trillions of fucking dollars have gotten into the war machine since then, you fucking idiot? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, back in 2002, we conducted a study. This is before we threw fucking trillions into the de fucking defense department. Mother Green and her killing machine over here. Are you fucking kidding me? Of course, this would be some fucking Canadian cuck fucking donating. Don't do it, eh? Yeah, you go fucking... Yeah, I like living in an ice hole. I mean, I might have to go get a sister if this happens. An unrelated Middle Jesus Eastern nation Christ. to see how well it would perform. It was Iran. It was a test for a war against Iran. There was the blue team, America, and the red team, Iran. For the red team, the chosen commander was retired Lieutenant General Paul Van Riper. At his disposal was only equipment that Iran would have small speedboats. Low flying planes. All right, get missile, to the point. The whole shebang. I mean, this is the fucking retard fucking review bra of like, look, I got a study and let me let me explain it to you like a fucking Todd. So the exercise began. Van Riper, knowing that the U.S. Navy would immediately sail too close, began to attack first. He sent off his suicide bombing boats. They'd give coordinates to where the U.S. ships were and relay it back to the missiles. Then the ships would run straight into the U.S. cruisers, detonating. In the first phase of the exercise, 19 ships, including three aircraft carriers, were sunk. Estimates for the total U.S. casualties this would have brought was 20,000. Oh, you know, I'm not playing this fucking propaganda, dude, all right? I'm not playing this shit because, what, a couple of generals came and decided to play a fucking, uh, uh, the game of Risk, all right? Get the fuck out of here. I don't believe this for a fucking second. And uh, Ninja Gini by Jatario, skip Operation Meat Shield and send them straight to the wood chipper. Cheers, ghost. Well, thank you, Jatario, over there at D-Live with a Ninja Gini. I mean, this is fucking stupid. I'm not playing this stupid propaganda, all right? And this was a 2002 study, by the way. And I'm sure all the money that went into this so-called study went into the fucking general's pockets. Get the fuck out of here. Go fuck yourself, all right? What the fuck? Oh, yeah. We would kick the fucking shit out of Iran. And let me tell you how we're going to do it. We're going to go back into Iraq. Now, let me explain to you what's happening here. 
Take a look at this. U.S. in talks with Iraq to end troop mission against ISIS. Now, what have I told you? I said that ISIS is the United States of America. That is CIA. Whether you believe me or not, let's just say for the sake of argument, it's CIA. Well, now, because once again, we have one of the most expensive bases that we have ever built in Iraq. We are now going to end our troop mission against ISIS, which means that we're probably going to start seeing Iraq. Uh, it's not able to actually bring foreign investors back in the country because of all the Xi Jinping Maoist type reforms. I'd buy that for a dollar. What's going on, women are stinky holes? Put these the losers who have student debt they'll never pay off to the front of the draft line. Use them for Operation Meat Shield and Bill Israel for the remaining balance. Draft all Swifties. Draft all Swifties. Well, I mean, women are stinky holes. I think that that's probably going to be on the table. Like these folks that are in student debt, they're like, look, we'll, we'll pay off whatever your student debt is, but you got to give us like four years or at least two years in combat or some shit like that. And I think that's going to be uh, something on the table. If you want my view, I think it's around the pike, if you want my opinion. But cheers to women or stinky holes here. Uh, but anyway, once again, China stocks at a five year low. Uh, the economic uh, complete collapse of China is in progress. Because the only thing they have left to be able to salvage their economy is the wartime economy. I'd buy that for a dollar. What? Trey Taylor Swift to the Houthis for world peace. Oh, that's horrible. Trades Taylor Swift to the Houthis for world peace. They'd want more than that. I'll tell you that right now. But anyway, as I was stating, I mean, I said that China was on a complete economic meltdown. Anyway, I, I think that this is the beginning, and in my personal view, I think that we are going to see this completely escalate, which makes them more dangerous. I'd buy that for a dollar. Who do you think weighs more, Lizzo or Michael Moore? Lizzo. But I think that this, once again, makes China dangerous because China, in my opinion, has no other choice than to go into the wartime economy. All right, and by the way, I got to fucking look at another buy me a coffee here. All right, put the PC shot on. All right, now look, I skipped to the three-minute mark. It was fucking stupid, all right? It ain't propaganda, boomer. Play the rest of it, you neocon snowflake. It's stupid, all right? It's a stupid video by a tard on fucking YouTube, and I'm tired of tards on YouTube, all right? I'm so, I'm, I'm so tired of tards on fucking YouTube, dude. I'm fucking tired of them. They have the same motto. Hey, it's, uh, you know, moist critical here. I just want to let you know. If this has got to be the most worst streamer of all time, and all I'm going to do is just take other people's content, and I'm just going to... Shut up, all right? I'm tired of that shit. Here, since fucking Vox Artificials is like, I donated 10 beers. Here, y'all want to watch this? Fucking watch no, it, all right? Mike. Here it is. From three minutes, all right? He's believing some stupid tard who probably is eating chicken tendies off of his fucking mother's fucking breakfast nook, all right? He's going to use this idiot as a fucking goddamn source, all right? Here, let's see what the 2002 study said about uh, supposed uh, America invading Iran. A 2002 study. It's 2024, and this stupid fucking ice hole Canadian bacon tard is fucking pulling this out of his ass as some kind of a source. Simple. The what could I do? Here. This is where I want to introduce you to Millennium Challenge 2002. Jesus Christ. In 2002, the U.S. military conducted a military exercise, the most expensive of its kind. It was to see how the U.S. could successfully conduct a war against an unrelated Middle Eastern nation to see how well it would perform. What? It was I Iran. Mean, give me a break! It was a test for a war against Iran. There was the blue team, America, and the red team, Iran. For the red team, the chosen commander was retired Lieutenant General Paul Van Riper. At his disposal was only equipment that Iran would have. Oh, small Jesus. speedboats, low-flying This plane. is a 2002 study, you fucking dumb shit. We have spent tens of trillions in the military-industrial complex since then, all right? And this fucking stupid Canadian fucking asshole who's got his fucking goddamn hand on the chicken switch is fucking quoting some fucking tard regurgitating some 2002 study. You're a fucking idiot. Short You're a missiles. fucking idiot. The whole shebang. So the exercise began. 
Van Riper knowing All right, that you the know US what? Navy would... You watch this because fucking stupid ass Vox Artificial wants to watch it. After this stupid fucking shitbag video, I'm getting the fuck out of here. All right? I don't need to put up with this fucking crap. Immediately sail too close. The fuck do you want? Why bong bong Marcos is my president's one. His have talent no golds too. His sincere three. Oh, he give us windmill four. He graduates on Oxford five. He is Cheetah six. He is Father Will thirteenth month seven. All right, who gives a fuck, Mr. Marcos? Eight. His honest men nine. Shut He's up. He's not right. stealing anything. Just play Began it. Began to right. attack first. Just he play set it. off his suicide bombing boats. They'd give. Co all right, hold on. Wait a minute. We got we got Haywood over here. All right, what is it, Haywood? All right, Haywood just donated here. He said, oh, man, I had to I had to call my pops and ask which company it was. He used to work for Motorola, and they were partnering with China back in the 90s. The company wanted the employees to wave Chinese flags as they greeted, uh, and my dad said, fuck this, and quit. Base dad moment, and he, he's getting there. Uh, anyways, uh, he hates N-words. All right, uh, fuck you, asshole. All right, play the stupid Canadian Bacon's video about a 2002 study. It's 2020 fucking four. Coordinates to where the U.S. Jesus ships Christ. were and relay it back to the missiles. Everybody in then fucking Rumble chat, shut the fuck the up. Cruisers Everybody in Rumble chat, them. shut and the, the fuck up. Of the exercise, 19 Piece ships, of shit. including three aircraft carriers, were sunk. I don't even put up with the this shit. U.S. casualties this would have brought was 20,000. The largest navy in the world was decimated in combat by a technologically inferior... L I mean, listen to this, Tard. He he's replaying it like it's a fucking, uh, you know, something that happened on Battleship. It's a fucking stupid simulation, you fucking idiot! Enemy. Granted, all of this was because of a Fuck you, Tesla Cyberheart! Fuck you, Bob Tom! Fuck you, President J! Fuck you, Vox Artificials! Fuck you, King of Bugs! Fuck you, P. Joggins! Fuck you, Mama Luigi! Fuck you, Hair of the Dog! Fuck you, Eskrimen! Fuck you, John Luke! Fuck you, Baka! Fuck you! Fuck you, Wiglar! Fucking piece of shit! They rigged it. The Red Team was not allowed to Fuck you, Ouija Slayer! Nor would they be allowed Fuck to you, Z Gherkin! Using radar. Fuck you, Devious Dave, you fucking piece of shit! Fucking eat your clam! The Fuck US you, wasted on Thanksgiving! So what a war with Fuck Iran you, I'm, a, I'm just a sea biscuit! Fuck dead. you, Camper Block! Now, Fuck you, Jester White! He was. However, they fucking don't piece have of to shit. be efficient. They just have to follow the same strategy. Fuck you all! And it Fuck you, Captain Slapnut! Fuck you, Imagine Poop Tickle Nation! Fuck you, Uncuckable Alpha! Fuck you, Paul Pedo Danino! Fuck you, Navy First Platoon Commander! Long story short, fuck you, 420! Fuck you, True fight. Sex Hog Radio! Fuck you, Jimmy Powell! Fuck you, Blucifer! <laughs> Fucking piece of shit! So let's talk about the initial invasion. Iran is not Son Afghanistan of a bitch. or Iraq. Fuck you, Ryo Han! Rain, but its central government at the time, the Taliban... Fuck you, Damalan! ...a militia force. Iraq, fuck you, jail cat! Fuck you, Spit Cassidy! Fuck you, Auto Rocks! Fuck you, Paul Not Walking! Fuck you, White Most Power Ranger! Most of them poorly trained. Not to mention and the fuck whoever donated! Flat desert His love by to you, Philip Fine. Pause this! His honest again, 12. His Mr. Marcos Sandra again, by the way, all right? 13. His smart Mr. AF fucking 14. Marcos. His very appropriate chin to everyone, 15. His have tantalizing smile, 16. All right, His shut so up. All right. 17. Fuck you, your He's tongue. The best of the best. Fuck you, lazy boy. Fucking piece of shit. Fuck you, Dom Paru. Whatever the fuck your name is, you fucking Coalition asshole. troops to easily invade from north and south. Jesus right Christ. Right into Baghdad. Both operations took around a month. What? Glad to say we're doing video donors now. No, just shut up. We're not doing we're not doing fucking donos. I'm letting this stupid shit play a little bit because Vox Artificials put a couple of fingers in his ass, gyrated it counterclockwise, and anal induced ejaculation to this fucking video, and he wants us all to watch it. Alright? So play it! Resulted in minimum American casualties and took down the governments with ease. Iran would not be this. Iran has double the military Iraq did in 2003. Oh, and the 8% who are Sunni, who certainly in no way would be influenced to break away from the Shia Iranian state by any outside influences. 18. His platforms are the best 19. 
His the best in Unity 20. His is BBM Mzar Tandem well always won. We Philippines will win forever. We shall defeat them. We are best men's in worlds and we work harder than filth. Ethnic cohabitation has been a problem that Tehran has needed to deal with. All right, y'all had to listen to Mr. Marcos, all right? Has existed. And while I don't Son know if these bitch. ethnic groups will break off or fight amongst each other, I do know that this is not a situation you want a foreign... God damn it, all of you, shut the with. fuck up in the now chat! The shut up! Region, the difficult terrain, God damn it! Injured, fractured, large population... God damn it, I can't stand you people, man! I wish you would all go away! I want serious people! Can we be serious? I want serious people! If we Can we be serious? Race, I want serious people! Can we be serious? That we'd see for the next 20 Christ. years. It would break the Iranian state oh, and be God. tore up from the outside by neighboring Give me a fucking smoke, man! Chunk. Give me a fucking smoke! The Saud would now have an opportunity to export their own brand of Islam against the Shias, <laughs> spreading Wahhabism by money or by blood man, this ain't doing into shit, the nation. Man. I'm so Russia pissed fucking could smoke export doing arms shit. to keep the Americans busy against insurgents. Any Islamic extremist It's fucking Thursday, right? There's no fucking sports day, or anything. They go to a fucking sports bar or some and shit. America is go to Twin to Peaks. Face and spend trillions of dollars Get fucking 29 degree draft beers war. being poured All into fucking ice cold fucking mugs. In the middle sports on the screen having that shit served by fucking bimbos that are 24 years old with their assets hanging out. Instead of putting up with this shit, even after those who started this Instead war of putting up with this shit. are already in their grave. I don't think there will be a war. At least, even with my cynical I, lens, who I gives can't a imagine shit? we'd see an Iran invasion just like in Iraq or Afghanistan. Uh, dude, whoever the hell alternative history hub is, I hope you die of cancer of the cock, you useless fucking human being. All right? You are a useless fucking human being. You make me sick. I can't stand these new fucking content creators. They're here I go. I'm gonna talk like Snuffleupagus. And you know, I'm just gonna go and do that. Shut the fuck up! Alright, look, I'm done with talking about the fuck. You know, we were talking about the Philippines wanting to buy some submarines so that they could fucking defend themselves in the South China Sea against uh, China. Uh, but I think I'm fucking done, dude. I mean, I, 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 let's just go ahead and go to totally useless news, all right? Let's go ahead and go to totally useless news. And since we have a whole bunch of troll terrorist scumbags, uh, this is right up your ass crack, each and every one of you, all right? Take a look at this. New diaper spa where adults role play as babies shocks tiny New Hampshire town. Isn't New Hampshire that fucking state live free or die? Well, this is what you get right fucking there, huh? That's what you fucking get. The ABDL, or the Adult Baby Diaper Lover, is a diverse community with various individuals and their unique wants and needs, the owner said. So here we are in America, and let me tell you, I'm sure that each and every one of you troll terrorists would patronize this because you people are immature idiot man-children who cannot grow up, who think that it's so cute to sit here and troll your fucking asses off all goddamn day. All goddamn day. Well, you know what? Piss off. How do you like that, you son of a bitch? All right? Why don't you suck on my schlong head, you two-bit fucking four flushing toe jam sucking hemorrhoid licking dirty diaper eating pieces of dingleberry fucking sucking shit <sighs> anyway and look at everybody's probably look at them look at they're, they're getting off on this shit look at the look at, look at the fucking uh, the rumble chat has now become the degenerate chat of all chats the rumble chat used to be a very respectable chat now it's become the degeneracy of the chat rooms at this point in time especially on true capitalist radio show but anyway once again this is right up your alley new diaper spa all right jesus christ and look since it's black history month i want to show solidarity with the brothers out there and I am going to cover racial issues on Totally Useless News. <laughs> oh, gee. What the fuck, Pecora? I love you, ghost. Fill my tight little Japanese Oh, Jesus. Senpai. Just stop, Ooh. please, all right? Maybe you can finger blast me and just take this please stop. tattoo off of my snow.
Yes, I want your two oh, millimeter God. defeater inside me. Do it. Simon Fakeler. What the fuck? Two I know you like PP What the two. two millimeter defeater? All right. Anyway, look, I'm going to talk about some racial issues here. And I'm going to talk about racial issues that really affect black people. You know? And I think that we need to have a conversation about this. And consequently, this next uh, piece here is written by a publication called The Conversation. And what conversation are we going to have on our first day of Black History Month 2024? Here's the question. Here's the first one. Why are so many robots white? Huh? I mean, has anybody answered that question? Why are so many robots white? Is this some kind of an indication that many of the folks that are designing these future robotic entities, that they're trying to develop some kind of a master race in some regard? Is this some kind of a racial component that's going to be inflicted upon the race of autonomous robotic entities? I mean, I, I, this is a very serious question for the folks that are out there celebrating Black History Month. Why are so many robots white? I mean, how come there can't be yellow robots? How come there can't be black robots? You know, and if they aren't, they're silver, right? They're like silver, right? You know, come on, man, all right? Superior What the fuck does that mean? All right, look, stop that. In the fucking rumble chat, cut your shit superior fucking white looks clean and sterile hence white coats with doctors dude please stop you guys are getting fucked up fucking psychologically racial now this is fucking black history month you piece of shit i mean what the fuck oh my god all right dude look i, I tried i'm trying to make a legit argument about a question being posed why are so many robots white? All right, Jesus Christ, I can't believe you. I can't believe you people. Look, look at the racial, look at the racist garbage that is being written here. All right. Oh my God. All right, I've I've had enough. All right, right. White is royal. White means pure, dude. Enough. All right. This is Black Fucking History Month, dude. You guys are fucking... All right, take this shit off. They're being racist pieces of shit. I thought we were going to have a conversation about the up-and-coming new race of uh, entities that are going to be robotic. All right? I'm just... Uh, you know, why are so many robots white? And this is the kind of crap that I get, for Christ's sake. All right? Anyway, hold on. And Urinator with a rumble rant. Uh, when robots don't work, the whites do. Dude, dude, that's enough. All right, I've had enough. I've already been on for three fucking hours. It's 7, 10 p.m. here at the True Capitalist Radio Studios. And I'm just going to go ahead and, and get the hell out of here, okay? I don't know, especially after this fucking rompous fucking show that we had here on the True Capitalist Radio Show. I don't know if I'm going to have a ghost show tomorrow. I don't know. All right, I feel fucking pretty fucked up right now. My morale is not very high because of you people. And look, look at these idiots in Rumble Chat. They're trying to make demands out of me. Oh, I want you to go to mentions. I want you to go to mentions. Fuck you. All right. I mean, can we be serious? Does anybody care? For fuck's sake, man. You're making demands out of me after you fucking people ruined this very serious fucking show, man. You people are fucking making demands out of me. Oh, oh, I'd fuck buy you. That for a dollar. All right, what is? Oh, here it is. Here's Vox Artificial again. What the fuck do you want to say there, huh? I'd buy Rainbow that for boy. A Thanks a ton for the show tonight, Ghost. Cheers, and hope you have a good baller Friday tomorrow. Shout out to Jack, Haywood, and Caladute. Hey, thank you, Jatario. And by the way, Mama Luigi with a rumble rant. Any chance for a Saturday show? Fuck no. How about that? Saturday is my day to do my shit, what I want to do. I'm not wasting a fucking Saturday, you know, uh, mouthing off to you fucking people. Are you kidding me? I mean, we got UFC this Saturday. All right. Give me a fucking break.
And shut up, stop spamming mentions. I'm not fucking doing shit for you people. All right? You people have ruined this serious show, and it's obvious by the title of this broadcast, you don't care. So here, let's go ahead and go to where is that? Oh, Vox Artificials. Like, why did you scream over the video instead of engaging with it seriously? Can't handle being wrong. It is a 2002 study, you fucking idiot. The most expensive war game in U.S. history, and you don't have nothing to say for it. Where, where, 2002? Tell me how Iran's geography has changed since then. We're n- hey, asshole, all right? Clean the crustaceans out of your ears, out of engaging in so many glory holes and so many public bathrooms, all right? Clean it out. I said that we bomb, 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 bomb Iran, and we eliminate the Ayatollah, we eliminate the institutions that are loyal to the Ayatollah, and let the fucking Iranians deal with it how they wish. All right? You stupid fucking shithead. All right, I mean, give me a breath. How many times do I got to tell you, you fucking Canadian fucking bacon idiot? Get yourself out from under the fucking cold or some shit. Tell me how the strategies using the war game are out of date. We're not going to invade, you fucking idiot. We're not going to invade. Jesus fucking Christ. I'd actually like to hear you engage, but you don't have much hack to do it. Fuck you, ghost. Go back to simping for Pippa. You took your book. I just fucking told you, you fucking Canadian bacon piece of shit. All right? You know what I want you to do since you're a Canadian bacon piece of shit? Can you fucking take the Canadians that have come here and laid ground as citizens in this country and, and, and take them back to your shithole so that you can bother them like you're bothering me here? I told you that we bomb Iran, eliminate the Ayatollah, we reposition military assets in Iraq, all right? Once the fucking uh, people realize that the Ayatollah is dead and the clerical uh, board, which elects the Ayatollah or chooses the Ayatollah, once they're dead and once other institutional leaders that are loyal to the Ayatollah are dead, that's when the, the, the Iranian people figure out, they figure it out. And at some point, they're going to be begging the United States to come in or maybe an international consortium, who knows, to rectify the situation. But the Ayatollah, in my opinion, has to go. I'm sorry, it has to go. All right. So there's your fucking strategy, you fucking stupid war world of Warcraft gaming piece of fucking shit. And we got Mama Luigi. How about a Sunday show? Well, I don't know about a Sunday show, dude. I don't know about that, man. All right, that's the Lord's Day, all right? And the Lord said that we should be resting that day, even though I take rest on Saturday. And no, I'm not Jewish, okay? Uh, but I do like sabbats, all right? I don't think it's a bad deal having sabbats, all right? Jag the Luxray with a diamond uh, was no trolls for... <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus Christ. In 2002, our military was at least combat ready. Now they're too worried about their pronouns and sucking as much cock as possible, much like your nephew. Uh, All the technology in shit. the world doesn't help when the people using it are functionally tarts. All right. Anyway, uh, fuck you. And he said... Uh, was no trolls for one hour till vid? Please think on... Well, I don't know what the hell that meant, Jag the Lux Ray. I'd buy that for a dollar. I don't know what that means. And Oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go again. Vox, what the fuck do you want? All right, I already told you. I'll put the PC shut on. Yeah. I, I, yeah, you wanted a serious conversation. I tried giving it. You melt down like a baby. Where, where, where? I already told you, you fucking stupid Canadian fuck! I already told you what the fucking we were supposed to do! You know what? Fuck you! Fuck Fuck you! Fuck Fuck God! Fuck you! I'm out of here! I'm not coming tomorrow! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck 